would you like to live in a 20 mile an hour zone? Well, I've got some bad news. Because it says that Lyme Regis Town Council is applying to Dorset Council to introduce a 20 mile an hour zone covering most of the town. But just to show you how much this 20 mile an hour zone covers, we can take a trip to the local council website where we can see this. Like I said, you can see that it pretty much covers the entire town. And if you're wondering why this image in particular is such low quality, well, like I said, it, this is the council that we're dealing with. This is on their own website, and the council are not known for their high quality services. So like I said, they just give you this low quality version and they expect the residents to be happy. So what I did is I took a few minutes to put this together. Because if we get the original council's map and we put it over this much higher quality version, you can see just how big this is going to be. Because basically everything that is inside that red zone, everything inside that line is going to be forced to drive at 20. And what gets me right, especially about this one in particular to be fair, it pretty much just looks like any regular town in the UK. Like there's going to be some big roads, there's going to be some side roads as well. There's going to be a high street as well as a couple of shops. But make no mistake, like, like I said, if, if you zoom into pretty much anywhere in the UK, like any town is going to look very similar to this. So if it can happen to Lyme Regis, like what is the difference between them and us? Like it, it could just happen to me and you. And it's not even at like a select few roads as well, like outside of schools and hospitals. It's the entire town. Well, to be fair, I probably can't call it the entire town. I'm sure there's going to be like one or two fields that are not in that zone. But I think we're just splitting hairs over that. It, it is pretty much the whole area. And in all fairness, the council does actually have a part on their website where like, the local residents can actually put their opinions in. So they can voice their feedback and it is open to the local residents, but anyone can fill in the questionnaire. So like I said, it is nice to see that the council is actually listening on this one. But I'm just a natural sceptic, so I, I, I don't think they're going to do a single thing with the answers. I think this is just one more town before it reaches you and me. But whilst the police are out there just focusing on drivers doing 21 mile an hour, did you see this video where actual crime is at its highest level in 20 years? So, thank you for becoming one of the 34,788 subscribers. Thank you to the channel members. And thank you for checking out this very concerning video. This country has gone crazy.